It's a food diary Friday thing. It's a food, food diary, diary Friday, Friday day. It's a food I'm diary vlogging Friday my food. Thing. I'm thinking about delicious foods. How are you, my internet family? And welcome back for another Food Diary Friday episode. And today I, I am joined by my delightful pilot husband to be in his sexy black coat. Yes. Yeah. 10 out of 10. So I had breakfast alone this morning because someone was on a shift, a really early shift. I was flying. And wasn't around to eat breakfast with me. I had peanut butter and jam porridge with strawberries. I had a cup of oats. They don't care what you had. They're here to find out what I ate in my day. So here's a little my montage day. of my breakfast. I wouldn't usually have these quick oats, but they were on sale, so. Feck it. And I also don't normally have Baraka boost because I am trying to cut down on my caffeine, but I can't help but feel very tempted by a nice effervescent drink in the morning. And yeah, I've always loved peanut butter and jam sandwiches. So jam being really sweet, peanut butter being the kind of salty, sweet and salty. It's just a really nice combination. Just chugged back a chocolate vegan protein shake as well. So I'm going to bring you for lunch to a place that I eat a lot more regularly than I really should, because I am um, I'm saving money, but it's it's my vice. It's a local cafe called Gourmet Food Parlor, and they just do such nice food, don't they? Delicious foods. Yeah, I go there because when I'm alone and and when he's not around to have lunch with me, I just I like to be surrounded by people. And as a YouTuber, working from home can get quite like. And later on, I'm gonna have some chats with you. This video is kind of a bit of a response to Stephanie Buttermore, who's recently been talking about her all-in journey to um, firstly like get her periods back and to get rid of her chronic hunger. And it's just really interesting because it isn't that what I did as well. That's yeah. why I like I've I've loved seeing her journey with that. Um, she's been discussing her weight gain and all of the positive benefits she's been experiencing from it, and like a lot of me doing essentially what she did is documented on YouTube and I wanted to talk about the journey with that of balancing my hunger after having eating disorders and then my weight kind of just like balancing out after a, a long time it's like a long process yeah so this video is going to be food and exercise and chats and and Thomas yeah. and, his, and, and his lovely curl <laughs> <laughs> also I'm going to fill out my me time journal as the day goes along because like this is my side business as you know if you follow me this is the original hardback journal with chapters and quotes throughout and stuff and then the journal page is where you can document your meals and your workouts your to-do list your vitamins your mood your digestion what you're grateful for gratitude is the secret to my happiness and um we got these back in stock finally yesterday. I wanted a new one of these going into the new year, like the hardback ones. I really love them, so actually I better go and write me brekkie in. <laughs> a brand new me time journal. Mmm, smells fresh. So, going into the journal pages, I want to get this. I love these things. So, what date is today? The 22nd. See the way like you can fill in your own date, because I absolutely hate when the date is already filled out for you. My mood is really high today. I'm giving myself a 10 out of 10 10 on that. Out of 10 for and you. and I had a morning poo. Um it just wasn't a perfect poo, so I'm gonna give it a nine. Um then <laughs> uh P B and J porridge, oat milk, straws and protein shake. I've already had two big glasses of water. Um I had a fruit. Edit, vlog, gym eyebrows, <laughs> emails, Instagram pics, <laughs> organize weekend. Yeah. Today I'm grateful for my baby. Me? Yeah. Me. I should have taken those by now, but I haven't. So we'll go get lunch. I'll take those after. Deal? Deal. I love having lunch in this cafe and the thing is when Thomas is on a really early shift by the time we're having our lunch it's still the breakfast menu so I basically ordered a second breakfast for my lunch which was just scrambled eggs and sourdough bread which is a type of bread where there's a fermentation process and it makes it a lot more gut friendly. Who shall go Put that down. <laughs> So I've had the brows done and I got some shopping. It's time for a little pre-gym snack. I'm gonna have one of my naked berry delight bars. Raw, fruit and nut. All that's in these is dates, cashews, raisins, raspberries, and a hint of natural flavoring. 
and dates were on the recommended snack list from my nutritional therapist. I talked about the nutritional therapy in my last food diary video. I love a hit of sugar before I go to the gym. Actually, I might eat two of these to be honest. Yeah, I won't have two. I'm quite hungry. It was hours ago that I had lunch and I actually didn't eat all of the eggs. Way too many eggs on that plate. I probably had about half of them. No, I've changed my mind. I'm not gonna have another one of those. I'm gonna have this. It's not an exciting. It's just Greek yogurt that um, I had left in this bowl because the ever clumsy genius that is I dropped the carton and it like smashed and this is what I salvaged. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this as well. So we're off to the gym, it's pissing rain out, so I'm gonna have to wear a big hoodie on my way over, but uh, today is a high intensity interval training day. I usually do one of these days every week, and it's the only cardio I really do apart from the odd walk outside, and then I do like a 10 minute incline walk as a warm up for my weights exercises. With high intensity interval training, I like to mix it up and try different routines just to kind of keep it interesting and probably going to do one today from the fit app it's this app that has like a load of free fitness classes on it and yoga and all that kind of thing i've got a lot of energy today though i'm real like so i might just do a few other little bits as well if if i finish the hit and then i'm a bit bored because it usually only takes like 12 to 15 minutes i go really hard for a short burst of time i way prefer that than long steady state boring cardio like i remember years ago i used to do I don't know, like an hour on the treadmill or the, the cross trainer or some shite. And it was all just about burning calories, burning calories. And it's so different with weight training. Like it's way more interesting. You've got gaps between each exercise and then you get to eat all of the foods and then you kind of lose body fat and it's replaced with muscle. I've been lifting weights for about two years now, right? And I have not changed the amount I eat really. Like I do eat a bit more than what I was eating a couple of years ago. Not a huge amount more though. And so I think then because of the afterburn effect from weights and because of adding on that muscle, which needs more calories just to exist on your body, it will take the excess calories from your stored body fat, if that makes sense. I'm really impressed with my lifts. Like I've been doing, you know, 50 kilogram lifts for three sets of 10, you know. Look at that, look at that. Give you a little box in the head. <laughs> Even when I'm not doing weights, when I'm in the gym, I will still do banded exercises to just activate my weaker muscles. So I'm very quad dominant. So I have to do a lot of waking up of the gluteus maximus. And yeah, it's mad. Like high intensity interval training workouts are so hard and even though they're so short, I do kind of dread these. Like I love lifting weights and I'll do that for an hour happily <laughs> over doing this. <laughs> but it is important to me to keep up my fitness and to keep my cardiovascular system in check, you know? And I can honestly say I've never felt better in myself. I think training consistently is definitely to thank. <laughs> So Thomas is still in the gym, he is having a very heavy weight session and I've prepared my dinner in the meantime before he gets back because we're going to sleep in his house tonight so we can get up early at like half three or four for his uh, next shift but um, he's going to have dinner at home and what I've made is some organic salmon. So these ones here responsibly sourced in Dublin. Then this here is the brown rice pasta that you saw me buy earlier in Super Value and I've put on some of the Jamie Oliver tomato and garlic sauce which is yummers and I made a little salad full of things that I like there's a lot of vegetables that I don't like and um, but this is a spinach and baby kale mix and I've chopped up some bell pepper and I've put in some um chopped up beetroot with some Newman's own Italian dressing just to make it taste good and I'm having a Pepsi Max because I am craving one and because I have already lost two teeth to the amount of sugar I had as a child, I would never drink a sugary fizzy drink, but uh, I have absolutely no problem drinking these. Like I probably have a couple every week, like not often, I don't go mad on them, <laughs> but they're very nice. I'm wondering, should I dunk this on the side? Oh shit. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have a good workout? Yeah, I'm doing 
Yeah. Do you want a protein shake or something? I have cold tasties. I got a tray of cold tasties if you would like one. What if I mix my protein shake with my cold tasties? That's disgusting. You wouldn't dare. You wouldn't dare. I just let off a whopper of a fart. I'm leaving him to deal with it. It <laughs> was a flobbery one. A flobbery one. Uh, so it's dessert time. And I'm having pieces of chalk. Pieces of chalk. I'm having this. It's dark chocolate extra fine orange dark chocolate and it has um no dairy or anything like that um so it's not one of like the real saucy sugary chocolates but well, i probably have about this many oh, oh. Oh. and i have a cup on tea of sleepy tea time tea sleepy tea we're in thomas's house by the way that's why there's a black velvet headboard i bought him this bed black velvet. mainly for me so yeah, I finished my journal for today. That's what it looks like at the end of the day. Yeah. If you want one, go to the link down below. Yeah. The refills come in four <laughs> different colours that are all Hogwarts house inspired. Yeah, bad at shit. <laughs> um, so before I eat my dessert and before we watch something, I did want to talk a little bit about my binge eating disorder recovery because I watched this girl called Stephanie Buttermore and she makes brilliant videos. Like she's she's really intelligent like i think she has a phd she's a fitness youtuber but she was doing like bikini competitions and all that kind of stuff which like i'm just not really into that kind of thing because i feel like the amount of body fat that women have to lose for that can be quite unhealthy and it can lead to a lot of like unhealthy attitudes around food anyway i've only started watching her ever since she went on this all-in journey to um as i said earlier like recover from chronic hunger it just really struck me because what she has been doing over the past few months like she's she's gained a bunch of weight and stuff like that and she, she looks amazing she's feeling a lot better as well what she did was she stopped tracking her food so she stopped tracking her calories stopped tracking her macros and she said every day i'm going to eat until full satiation a little bit of backstory right for those who don't like actively watch all of my videos yeah. when we were friends like we were friends years before we were together and around that time when we were doing the runs together do you remember yeah that's around when I was having like binge problems yeah. so I was really slim and stuff like that this is nothing to do with aesthetics I just want you to like know that uh, recovery from eating disorders and stuff like that you have to completely scrap what you look like you just have to like cut that off and separate health and your mental health from how you look um because I looked really healthy but I was not really? at all like I was under eating for several days a week exercising way too much to burn calories and then what i was doing was i was just so 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 hungry that i was stuffing my face for like sometimes one day but it would go on for sometimes up to three days and um i was with someone else back then and like you know sometimes he'd have to go to the emergency room with me my dad would have to go to the emergency room with me like i would like i'm not talking about binge eating in terms of just overeating i think binge eating and binge eating disorder are definitely different things. It's like this compulsion that takes over you and you would you would eat anything. Like I would I would just eat like a whole loaf of bread with nothing on it. Like I would just eat anything. It's really scary. Like it's a horrible thing to experience. And I think um from all the research I've done, it's really, really common after you've recovered from a different eating disorder. So I had orthorexia, recovered from that from going to therapy, and then I had binge eating in the recovery from orthorexia, which is a different eating disorder. That's the long story short. <laughs> I did go back and get some CBT for the binge eating and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, like the thing that actually cured me from that was firstly, like completely just forgetting about how I looked and stuff like that. Secondly, completely giving up dieting, which is what Stephanie Buttermore has done. Like, you know, I, I just said to myself, like, right, I have to just, I have to just, figure out how to get back to eating normally i couldn't keep having rules around what i couldn't eat anymore because by limiting myself then i would still i would binge do you know what yeah. i mean because my hunger was like through the roof my hormones were all messed up and this is what not eating correctly does it it can mess up your hormones and it can just really affect your hung hunger signals and everything like that yeah. um it would be hard though just because like you're saying you need to get your eating back to normal mm. but you're normal wasn't normal yeah like that's what i mean i hurts. didn't know what normal was because even before i had orthorexia i had essentially gone on a big weight loss journey i lost 60 pounds um that was really hard and i i thought i was losing it in like a healthy way but i was just 
eating too low for too long mm -hmm. that's why like i don't I wasn't on a diet, but I was calorie restricting. I was probably eating around like 1,500 um, to lose weight, which it, it's enough, but you're not supposed to do that for a very long time um, because it brings your metabolism down. It just, it has all these effects. Um, if I was to go back and I had to lose that weight again, what I would do is I would find out what my maintenance for my goal weight would be and I would eat the maintenance, so like around 2,000 or whatever a day and then I would just exercise and just lose it really slowly yeah. and I just have heard that that's so much healthier um so yeah anyway I didn't know what normal was because post losing weight I was eating too little pre losing weight I was eating too much and as a child I had a terrible diet I I was brought up on you know frozen food and sweets and all yeah. that kind of stuff and I I talk a lot about this stuff in my first book um it's called fully functioning human almost you have a copy of it don't you <laughs> <laughs> Look, he read it. He read it to do research on me before we were oh, going out. It's a nice book and I wanted to have a nice time reading your nice book. Oh yeah? Yeah. All in. This whole concept of all in that Stephanie Bortmore is kind of like, she's kind of coined it with that name. I never had a name for what I was doing. I would just say, oh, I'm giving up dieting. And I have a lot of food diary videos kind of from, because it was a long process. Like it took a few years for me to get to the point where I was eating, kind of like for it to all really level out and balance out. There was a few months at the start where I was definitely eating like, you know, a lot. I gained weight kind of quite like slowly. When I had binge eating disorder, and like, I, this is just a trigger warning for anyone who like doesn't like known numbers or anything like that, but it's hard for me to illustrate this without, without providing numbers. So like when I had binge eating disorder, I was quite small. I was 130 pounds. I know that's not small to some people, but to me that's tiny because of my frame. Then in recovery, I think in total, like when I met you, I was recovered mm. completely, but I had I was still carrying that excess weight. So I was about 155 pounds then. Um, my highest weight when I was younger was 180 pounds. And you know, my lowest with orthorexia was like, I'm now in and around like 140 or whatever. So like my weight did like slowly come down because I started exercising and going to the gym. I've been eating the same amount ish every day since we got together, yeah. but my my body has completely changed. So like that, but that's like an, a side effect of having a healthy lifestyle and actually just like feeding myself properly. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I'm so kind of like passionate about not dieting, and and I I just I'm so anti diet. Like I I obviously think we should all strive for to have a healthy diet. Now I just do what you do. You just eat what you want, when you want, because your hunger signals work. Yeah. Have you ever gone on a diet? No. But I think that's it. It depends what kind of a diet you're brought up on. Because mm. like I, we were kind of forced to kind of eat reasonably healthy things throughout our childhood and that type of thing. So like I don't really have like a massive sweet tooth or, or things like that. Mm. So. I just eat what I want, but what I want is usually like reasonably healthy. It's I've never get like a craving for like a massive amount of of like. Yeah, you you ate stuff. a donut tonight, but that's what I mean. Like yeah, a donut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what I mean is like some some people would hear that, and be like, oh my god, how do you eat donuts? You're so healthy and like and you're so ripped. Eating healthy doesn't mean like never eating. Junk. Treats like yeah. yeah, like I I would call a lot of food junk just in terms of like it's nutritionally not that great. Um, I don't mm. think of food though as like good and bad. I just think of like I want most of the food I eat in a day to be doing something for my body, for my skin, for my hair, for my organs. I need that fiber. I need to do them poos. While I do use Instagram and I like Instagram, I think it's contributed a lot to a lot of people's warped perceptions of their bodies and and of their diets as well because mm. so many people do photoshop their images they photoshop in six packs they make their bums look a certain way they just all this stuff and then you'll see these like girls who are very clearly gym bunnies going on their stories eating like an entire super size pizza um, yeah. And it's this, it, there's a very bingey mentality out there. Even Stephanie Buttermore, while like I love this new series that she's making, she has videos from the past from when she was like super shredded, where it's like 
my 10,000 calorie challenge and that kind of thing and it's kind of almost like I don't I don't know it's there, there's so much imbalance out there peddled um, and so many mm. diet plans peddled and you know that's why I think it's like confusing for people especially if like I was saying if you're not brought up on a very like a, on a reasonably healthy diet then you don't really know what to, to eat. eat yeah and then that's how people I well I don't know from what I've seen that's how people get into not having their diet Mm. they're going on a diet. a diet so it's there's a there's an end point like yeah. in oh i'm gonna eat this way for two months yeah and then like i eat different every, what are you gonna every eat day after that, then all of my food diary videos are so like diff most of them are different like you probably see common trends in my last few the battery's gonna die so we're gonna go <laughs> <laughs> thank you for listening to us waffle and i hope you found this helpful go watch stephanie buttermore she's amazing i'm gonna link her um recent videos down below uh thanks for Ouch. this person being on my videos his name is thomas i love him i'm going to marry him give me that hand in marriage this one yeah okay <laughs>